and the new, and we're on the new nuke. Newish. Not really new. Well, by history, sure it is. I mean, I can I can get behind it. Big are going to be on the CT side. Heroic on the T side. And Sirson, surely one of the secret weapons, or maybe not so secret for Big, with that AWP. A nice flashbang to set it up. Farvin is down and out. Tessus will find Tabson. That is one hell of a flashbang to enter with. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Peekaboo. Crimbo. Just a little lurking in the vents. Yeah, it's, look, let's talk a little bit more about Big, because this is kind of a cool, I mean, the, this piston round was so quick, it's already over, but, I mean, when you look at, like, the way this team is made with Tapson as the in-game leader who's been in CSGO for, for a long time, obviously, and kind of, you know, getting towards the later stages, I would guess, of his career, potentially, um, and God be behind them, you have kind of a, a world where Big is sort of like bringing up the next generation of German players. Like, Tapson's great for his firepower, but it's his leadership that they need, and they're essentially putting the onus on these young stars, these young potential players out of Germany to be, like, the main skill focal point, right? Like, those three to four yeah. players on Big are the ones that they're expecting to take the reins and provide the firepower. And that's, that feels like a project that just has to succeed because of... Yeah. I mean, the legacy of German Counter-Strike goes back a really, really long ways. Very scary teams and players, obviously, in 1.6. Yep. I'm not sure about how they did in, in Source at all, but, uh, I mean, they, there's, a, there's a long history of German players who were so, so good at 1.6. You want to see that respected in the modern age. Uh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be amazing if they could start to get to really build that up. And they have been for a long time. Uh, on the big side, so. Well, and also think of it this way, too. Like, it's kind of an odd juxtaposition, this this big organization of where we're seeing teams like Vitality and obviously FaZe is the big one you can play. We're seeing all these teams kind of transition to a mindset of international rosters. We get a bigger pool of players to pick from, bigger opportunity to find some gems, some diamonds in the rough. And Big is over here like, nope, we're really dedicated to German Counter-Strike. You know, we want our legacy to be that we're going to bring Germany back to the top of Counter-Strike. I want them to succeed in that. Because I think that would uh, change the landscape quite a bit for uh, for European Counter Strike for sure. If they could uh, if they could be successful, so be interested to see that early find on the keto out there by the secret stairs. Nice little boost up in ramp will allow the scout to move around on Searson. He's had some scout moments too, so maybe a little bit tricky now that he's down. Oh, what a find, Tabson! Just walking up right behind Tessas. That is incredible. Did Stown shoot? I think Tapson knows he's over here. I think he has the information. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Heroic could even drop down vents and really put a lot of pressure on Tapson to make a huge heroic stand. No pun intended. 28 seconds. Smoke up. Going to try and see if they get their way through. This could work too. Farman's moved out into the lobby. 19 seconds now, but they're at least going to get the bomb. The bomb. Here. Nice headshot. Oh, no, Oh, you could tell he slowed it down. He was ready to get that aim, and he wants Cadian as well. He has the right idea. Very, very patient play, but Cadian's going to be a little bit quicker on the trigger, and he'll get Tabson on top of it. So now it's a two versus three here, and a little bit of a kill with Krimbo there. MP9 in hand. Still in a weird position here, Heroic. That bomb is only just planted, so they got to be careful. Krimbo, he's on the tear. A double kill on Cadian on his own, found by Searson. And that is a tremendous amount of work. Big are going to be excited about this. That's what they want out of Krimbo. That's exactly why they bring him into this roster. A lot of these, uh, a lot of the guys, Gabi and Tapson, have both had great words saying Krimbo has the potential to be one of the best German Counter-Strike players, as we just discussed the whole situation in that region. But this is him delivering some huge kills. And Heroic gets beat by a little bit of trickery, a little bit of sneakiness. I don't know why I thought Shush had the bomb. That was a crazy moment for me, but good shooting with the Deagle from Krimbo. Yeah, real good. I especially, I appreciate it, obviously, when nice. people go for the qu crazy deagle flicks, but sometimes it's really just something satisfying about people waiting the extra two milliseconds and, and then really securing that headshot. It looks good, too. So, Roig, punched right in the face and going to be down to some pistols. Single HE to blow up the door over there, but otherwise should be an easy round for Big to win here. They even upgrade, well, just the single AK, right? But... It gives them a little bit more to work with. Hopefully, eventually, it'll give them the AWP on Sisson. That's what we all want, really. Yeah. Secretly what we're here for. Yeah, it really is. I'm excited to see him get that out. Here he is with the M4. Grabs one before they drop down. Is traded off, unfortunately. That's an M4 that can be recovered. But Heroic don't really have any utility to move forward. So, Tapson in a good position to put a stop to this. And the bomb rolls out towards him. So, this round... 
seemingly starting to slip away from heroic. Kadeem would love a mistake. Tamsin being very, very careful, and that reposition is not yeah, anywhere in Kadian's mind. No, you'll never, you'll never ever expect that angle. So two to one in the favor of Big. You gotta, I mean, look, you gotta say there's, there's, if we stick to the big conversation, there's got to be a, a large amount of confidence that the players in the organization have in Searson to kind of work through some of his struggles he's had transitioning to land play, transition to big event play. Yeah. And we saw some of that rewarded briefly in, 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 in small moments in Cologne. Yeah. He had some games there that made you say, okay, this is some of that skills that we've seen in all the online events starting to translate over. So, I mean, they need him to kind of deliver as the opera. Opera is being so important in today's Counter-Strike. He's got to find that ability to kind of step up at these events. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's like an active topic inside of the team. So they must have some confidence that, you know, given a little bit more time, they can, they can really get there. And he is crazy when he's up and running. So it's hard to also, it's hard to sort of, if you had to say, okay, well, if we don't trust in Searson to really do it on land, then we'll find someone else. Well, then who, who could that be right now? It's hard to figure out. Um, they had a couple of players, I think, that could have been interesting on the sort of academy side, but um, I don't know. Some of them might have moved to Valorant in the meantime. It's um, it's 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 tricky out there to find authors of this caliber. Fourth round. Tessas doesn't want to take a peek out there. Heroic would love to answer back really early on. And if you look at the money on the big side, if, if they can get this uh, swift comeback and tie up the scoreline at 2-2, two to two, then the party might end a little bit early for the big side. Have an oh, a little bit early on that peak for Stown, and he's going to be going down. That's, um... He might have wanted to peak before the smoke plumes, hoping someone's going to be, like, caught in transition yep. or just frozen by the smoke about to pop. We see that frequently. Obviously, didn't work here. Krimbo holds the line. Dink, but can't complete the kill. It's the Galil who wins, wins out at the end of the day. And who drops down? It's Keto. Over towards Toxic side. However, Heroic want to challenge under heaven and clear out any defense that's there. Nobody in position to get punished. Look at the nades for Heroic. They've got nothing left. No smokes to hide in this for this plant. No smokes to block off any of the doors or windows. And there's going to be two big players downstairs already. Keto and Tapson. Especially with Keto's position back here. You wish you had a, a Molotov or anything to get rid of him. But great shot taking down Jabby. And now he can just buy time. Slowly but surely. Shush is going to be out of it. Tapson showing up at the defense down here. And this is just slowly... Slipping out of Heroic's hands. Kadian coming through with a good headshot, but we've got 18 seconds, and it's a one versus three. He's going to go straight for the bomb plant, but they are on top of him. Tabson running for it, and he'll find him. Great job. Really nice read on the big side. Yeah, even even stops the plant. That's great job from Keto. That's phenomenal trust in Tabson, who's calling out, hey, I'm here. I'm at control side. I'm at window. I'm at doors. I can hold the line. Keto doesn't need to re-peak because nobody can actually move forward. And that's where, as you mentioned, not just the Molotov, but you're missing some kind of a smoke to block off those windows so you can close the ground. You're missing some kind of a flashbang, anything to make these defenders off the angle to give you an avenue to get into this game. Even a couple nice headshots from Katie and don't get the bomb planted. And Big's defense is off and running. These players that we, you know, we hope to be, you know, calling out a lot more on the heroic side. He's obviously Danish Counter-Strike, one of the shining lights at the moment. Kadian, though, the one to open up this round, hunting down Tabson. That is a nice start. And look at the speed behind this. He's relocating even further in. Yabby going down, and it's four on four. Down there's one with a headshot. But Tessis is dropped immediately afterwards, and they know, they know Kadian could be back here. They're going to take his entire team away from him and leaving him out here to... Just rot on his own. Yeah, Kaden had two, two decisions to make with that kind of a pace. You could have just continued to be aggressive up towards heaven and wrap around into the bomb site to help crack it open, or you put some faith that your teammates are going to be able to find one kill to maybe make that rotator from ramp feel like he has to make the play. Obviously, he chose the latter option, and it just doesn't come to fruition. Nobody was able to ro nobody rotated into his crosshair. Good hold from Big in a tough situation. Losing that first player outside can be tricky to handle, and they do it well here. Yeah, um, even though your awareness, you could see inside of the A-bomb site, they knew that there was a chance that Kadian would try and find the timing, but I think they would have been ready for it. Ooh, here we go. Run boost to try and get over. That is quick, but not quite on top of the box, so couldn't really find the fight, and instead he's just taking a lot of damage. And now Sirson has that AWP out, so 
this real moment in time here where Big could start to pick up a lot of rounds without Heroic being able to do much about it. Yeah, but look at the way that Big is neutralized. I mean, a failed run boost, I think, or one that's called off. But, I mean, the counter utility, the counter aggression from Big. Heroic had thrown a fast wall of smokes outside that they don't even get to use. So, now look at the utility again for Heroic. Just the two smokes remaining, two Molotovs and two flashbangs to work with with a minute and ten seconds on the clock. Grimbo shifting to a stronger, more secure position in ramp room. Throw down the Molotov and slow them down just a bit more, but it's his last grenade to really try and defend with. 50 seconds on the clock here. It's down already. Tagged up from earlier. Still playing this one solo outside just to get the information and find out what is happening. 40 seconds on the clock and they need to make a move. Flash has come through. Oh, nice headshot. Shush able to take down Krimbo, but the return is just as good. Tabson will drop him, and it's back into a four on four. And now there's not a lot of time on the clock. 25 seconds for the Danes to try and get something happening. Tabson might almost get caught here. It's real scary reloading out there in the open. Searson missing a shot and trying to re-peek into it. There's the catch. Stout, even low on health. I don't think Tabson realized that there was someone still out there. Pavan and Pito, one versus two now, and he almost could have had it. That is actually horrifying, but it'll be heroic to pick it up. Great play from Stown, lurking outside that whole time with 27 HP, just waiting and knowing his job his job is to get just one kill off of the play from his teammates. Tabson gets, Tabson gets caught out in the open. Heroic even rotates back to the upper bomb site where there's two defenders. That could have been dangerous. This needs to be a hit. Those are the shots we need to see Searson starting to land. That first one needs to be a kill. Yeah, interesting position as well with the AWP. You're kind of boxed in there. Pistols on the CT side, and they are all running to try and put some pressure on. I'm pretty sure they know, so should be falling back. Should be a lot of guns trained here. They're going to lose down. Oh, actually, everyone else just ran downstairs. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't just take that fight straight up. Well, going to be a victory for Heroic either way. Yeah, they're going to win it no matter what, so. Kaden got a pick through the squeaky door as well, and a taps in crossing through that mini gap. They give up an AK-47, so might be a path for a faster orb back into the hands. Well, they certainly have it on Keto. Yeah, but... Keto's going to be able to drop the AWP over. You imagine Searson will drop a rifle over to Favin, most likely, who's only got 1,900, so money's going to be okay for big in the next round. But you don't want to allow Hero Heroic to give you a harsh reset this early in the game. Just the USP lost, so Searson's going to be fine with the AK. Running quite far back. Hanging out by the forklift. Do you need a special license to operate a forklift? Or you just go do it. You don't need a license, but you do need to be, uh, you do need like a take a test. You need to be certified. All right. Which I guess is a similar concept, but you can do it in like a couple hours. Okay. They I, just... I drove some forklifts in the factory. No big deal. With or without the certification? <laughs> With the certification. <laughs> Translation? <laughs> he's, he's so excited, he says. He says, great, we already have three rounds, which, that's a lot of celebration for three rounds, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like getting... I feel like he said, like, lead for big on the CT side, off in the hands of Searson, off in the hands of Kadian, and some money left over on the Searson side of things. And Kadian's been playing pretty decently. He's 9-5 and five right now, so a lot of the reason why they have three rounds. And the economy for both teams is looking a little bit interesting. Probably a little bit more money on Heroic at the moment, but, um... From Big's point of view, if they start to slip up right now, they could let the Danish team back into the mix, and that would be a disaster. Deep Molotov over towards Secret, Tamsin. Krimbo with a potential to set something up if they want to go and check out what's happening in the yard. See Tamsin, yeah, he really wants to flash for maybe himself or maybe Krimbo into it, but they need some info. Krimbo's not going to go for it, though. Yeah, it did look like Tapson was going to set that up for Krimbo to take a peek up the stairs. Giving a lot of space over to Stown. He's going to have a, whole, have a duel down low if he wants to take it. Tapson with an opening kill. That's through door in towards lobby. Tapson now up the vent as well, finds safety. He's got Favin on top of the hut to protect him. Not a smoke down, but Favin has a, a really, really good view on what's going on, so... Patient with the gun, not trying to throw anything away. Underhanding a nade right down on top. That's a massive grenade. 
Look at the damage on Tess. 52 to him. Stown, though, still going to win the fight against Krimbo. It's a bit awkward, but Tatsun, what a beautiful double return. Tessus and Javi out of the round, and that's probably all they needed. Stown and Kadian, they might almost just save what they have here. They're just so far away from winning this one. Yeah, it has to be. Although, look at the hunt from Tapson. He's already close by. Oh, he can catch him in transition if he hustles here. Yeah, Kadian's jumping. Can't set the feet for the off shot. And Stown down low has had nothing to do this whole round. Krimbo did push into him earlier, but no real ability to change the fortunes of Heroic here in round eight. So 5-3. We extend it to a two-round lead, and Big's economy gets a little bit of breathing room. Quad kill for Tapson, too. Nice uh, boost for him. And that was on the edge, at least, of the CT side, maybe being forced into another save. So they managed to avoid that. This is obviously just a classic angle. Shush finding himself in the wrong place at the wrong time, but this follow-up here is amazing. Yeah, Yabby's got a smoke out as well to drop. Everyone who wants to be a freshman class to submit their name, and we can kind of, like, say no. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's not going to work. Yeah, so. this isn't allowed. Yeah, we have to be able to pronounce it. No more than two numbers in your name. Exactly, you know. Guido, oh, this is dangerous. He still does get the kill somehow, but traded right away from Tessus, who is very low on health at the moment. Farman trying to find the kill, but Shush able to pick up the headshot. A nade? Is it going to be deep enough? Doesn't seem like it's hacked anyone. Oh, there it is from Sisson. Actually, I might have thrown it right in Kadian's face, but won't get the kill. And now it's a three on four with a quick bomb plant coming through from the heroic side. Yeah, this should be a save from Big. They should not even try and test this one. They've already backed way, way off to save these three weapons. So a knockout punch delivered by heroic and no chance for Big to get back into it. That early, you're just locked out by smokes and molotovs. There's even one of each left on Tess's if they want to rethrow one and close off these choke points. I think Fabin kind of gets caught, or Keto, excuse me, gets caught a little bit, believing that Molotov was going to be spreading differently, so he's hoping that they're stuck fighting him in the flames, and it actually was only one player who was kind of stuck in the Molotov as well. So a couple miscues there in the upper bomb site on a fast hit from Heroic. Back to 5-4. You know what I don't want to see, Jason, if I go visit the, uh, the local nuclear power plant? What's that? Cups of coffee on the control panel. Okay. I just feel like that's a... Like a very, just a problem waiting to happen. Liquid in the electronics kind of stuff. Like, I just feel like that's not a... Yeah. It's not ideal. No. I don't know if they have rules. I've never actually been to a nuclear power plant, but... I'm just... To the back of my mind, I'm thinking. I imagine they have to have some kind of protocol around that. Yeah. Certification, maybe. You'd hope so. Same for the forklift. <laughs> You'd hope so. 5-4. Yeah. Fast pace again. I think rinse and repeat, or are they just going to activate Shush to see what he can find? And nothing yet. Decent damage and can't grab the player on top of the hut. Tapson finds a kill that's on Shush. Oh, I don't know how he's won that. Stout had to have been so confused how he... How Tapson was just wide swinging immediately. And down low, there's already defenders here. Yeah, Krimbo at the back. I don't think they realize yet. He should have one of them native for free, but they get to live a bit longer. And somehow Krimbo, without a kill in that battle. And it's a three on three, although very low on health there. Two of them on the heroic side, so they're still in trouble. Gadian patiently waiting. Smoke might evaporate over at the one door, so they've got to be really, really careful. They're kind of triangulated in here. They're boxed in to the lower bomb site. They have still a Molotov and a smoker's hole on the Abbey, so they've got to be a bit careful. Kido. That could be one hell of a Molotov. Forces them out to a Tapson getting one, but KD and he nearly burns alive. He's going to get one of them, but it's a one-on-one. -on -one. 50 seconds still. He needs the headshot and he cannot get it. Keto closing out the round and saving Big from a lot of trouble here. That was kind of a weird, dangerous round. I like that Big he was willing to fight there because that's a lot of time. Even if you have them boxed in, if you just wait patiently and Heroic gets to dictate things, that can get a little bit awkward with how much time they have to just kind of slow things down and wait for a mistake. So Big just decides, let's not make a mistake. Let's just make the call to be aggressive. Let's make the call to throw utility and kind of begin this retake before they're actually comfortable in the site. And it works out. One-on-one -on -one lost. My heart goes out to Shush as well, because the setup for him to get into to Squeak was actually really cool, but it feels like what you want when you get flashed through there is the immediate fight, and it feels like every half second get, that goes past, you know, from there on out, the chances that you win is just, it drops immediately, or at least that you get the entry, because you're just going deeper and deeper into the bomb site. There are more angles to recover. Yep. It just gets worse and worse, so he almost, I think, had the fight at mini to begin with. Oh, this is going to be cool. I hope Heroic pulls the trigger and moves forward. That was a cool setup initially from Searson and Tapson, but I don't think they got the aggression that they wanted, or at least not the timing of it, so Searson's kind of fallen back and left Tapson on his own. Still going to find a kill, but can't get into safety. Way too wide swung, but Searson on top of Blue Box comes back for more. Second kill, but down to just 16 HP.
that is exactly the kind of CSM we really want to see in that big need. Oh, the shadow. <laughs> I don't think Tess has realized. Oh, that is so funny. He's down and out and could have just as well been a shot there for CSM, but he's going to quit the round with three in the bag, which is not uh, at all somebody to be scoffed at here. Yabby on his own. One versus four that he's turned into a one on three. He has the bomb in about 40 seconds. This can be done. But, man, you need to be quick with it. I think, unfortunately, Searson going down, I don't think it's possible for Big to recover that. At least at the moment, nobody's even moving forward. You can understand why. Focus on the round win, but that op is going to be too far away for a big team that doesn't have a lot of money to work with. Yabby, or Jabby, going to go down. Yeah, you could tell in his... This actually does make a lot of sense, even though it looks a little bit silly, but he, he never even checks that angle. And sometimes you'll see pro players do that, where they kind of... They're kind of almost saying, well... There are maybe five different angles I need to cover. I'm going to try for like three or four of them. And then if they're in the other two, I might just be dead. But but otherwise, you're basically going into a bomb site and swinging like a full 360 to try and cover everything. Yep. It's not really going to work either. So No, you have to take risks. And sometimes it just does not work out. Well, there's some... There's a children's drawing of a nuclear reactor for you. Concerning too. <laughs> Seven to four. Nice little lead here for big. I like what I'm seeing on the CT oh, side. Big nade. Huge grenade. And the follow-up spray is even better. Farming with a good triple. And he had enough left for the last one. Didn't even get baited into the reload. So quad kill for him to shut it down. And it's eight on the board for big. Do you think... Two not a race. Good. Good, good stuff. Um, they need to win some of these rounds right now. I don't think four is going to be anywhere near enough for the heroic team on the T side. So, preferably try and get up to six or something like that. You have a little bit of a basis to work from. Grimbo switching it up with a bit more aggression. They've been aggressive outside. Now we're looking at a little bit over towards the ramp. It's a nice way to make heroic feel uneasy on the T side. Unfortunately, the smoke is thrown by his teammate, and it lands on Keto, which means it doesn't actually block off the squeaky door in any meaningful way. They've got to use a follow-up smoke to help him get the safety down the vents. All four players from Heroic are here, just flashbangs to work with. Look at Katie walking through the smoke. What an incredibly bold play. But the gun barrel is showing he still wins the fight against Farman. That's crazy. What a risk to take, but it pays off. Tess is coming up with the headshot on Tamsin. That... That's really rolling the dice. And again, Big, they're almost in a position where saving might be a choice. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, it probably has to be. Especially look at the positions on the map. They're so far away. No one's even postured for it. That's a round that, I mean, it feels like it should it should never happen. Obviously, helped out by Katie and taking that massive risk just coming through the smoke. But really, when you think about it, if you go all the way back, that round is created by the chaos of that missed smoke that hits Keto after his initial kill. True. They've got to use a second one. Instead of feeling safe falling back into the bomb site, he falls down the vents, which leads one lone defender at that site behind the vents. And, you know, small little detail, but while he was going through the smoke there, he had one of his teammates kind of still put bullets through the smoke, which is obviously just a nice little trick to lure anyone of the CT side into maybe thinking, all right, they're just, they're just testing it. They're just shooting through to see if we can get anyone. Fagan was so surprised to see him in that position. Yeah. I mean, it, you'd say he has the, the advantage in that fight, but his aim was just a little bit off. He just never expected the fight to occur there. Eight to five. Big making a smart economic decision that's going to give them two rounds of buys regardless of what happens in the next round. So excited still. They're just giggling. Eight to five. I mean, they have a real, they have a real shot at it still. They can put together a nice first half if they can, uh, if they can continue to convert some of these rounds. The money is decent on the big side in spite of everything, so probably going to be a struggle to the end here. We'll see if Heroic can get more than five on the board. I think Heroic feels like this upper bomb site is the place that they can find the most success. Oh, I don't think Favin realizes he's out here. Searson, big job to do. Blinded, but he saw the target earlier. Stown was able to wrap upon him. And Tabson is left, spamming through the smoke, but not enough bullets in the magazine to complete the kill. And now Big has to scramble to protect the lower bomb site, but no one's in position to go down. Yeah, that's a real big issue. How do you actually get down here? You almost want to be able to catch one of them before the bomb goes down. At the very least, make it a three-on-three. Three. Yabby's very cautious about not just running into anyone in the control room there, but they have a minute and ten seconds, so why wouldn't they be? I think the play from Keto is the important one right now. We've got two players downstairs. 
Yeah, but if Shush sticks around, I mean, how's that even going to be working out? He's still out there. He's down. Does he see it? He does! Right at the edge! That is a creepy smoke. I think Heroic is going to end up going right back up the vents to the upper bomb site, which is why I think Keto's play is so critical to this round. I don't think there's really an option. There's the Molotov, but Heroic, they're going to... They're trying to make the decision right now. Spam coming through. Krimbo with the off angle. But Kaden with the bomb is already in the vents. Yeah. You are right. It looks like that's what's going to happen, Keto. This is the position you were talking about. Hanging out by that squeak door. Ooh, he looks for it, but shush one hell of a headshot. Tabson's going to be found. That is so ridiculous. Oh, he just swung that AK. And now Krimbo's on his own trying to get down. 15 seconds. They're going to get the bomb plant down and we'll get a sixth round. There's not much Krimbo could do about it. This round is, I, I think, Big played it just about as perfectly as you could. And it's individual missed shots, missed plays. They set it up just about as well as you can and still miss the opportunities. And those are the heartbreaking rounds. Those are the painful ones. Krimbo might get found here as well. Goes the other way. But I mean, I agree. Everything about this seemed really nicely set up. A good idea. They lost Favon on top of the on top of the hut as well at the beginning, which is unfortunate. Otherwise, maybe could have been a, a little bit more of a solid defense. There was so. a lot of chaos in that round. And yeah. McSearson gets the kill at red box, but Sound had already pushed up way behind him to wrap upon that position. Krimbo's going to get a couple kills in garbage time. And as I mentioned, with the save in the previous round, Big's got enough money to bomb site. So Tapson's been at the center of a lot of the action in this. If you look at Krimbo with seven kills, before that round, he only had four. He's the guy playing in secret. And while they've been attacking outside, they haven't really been challenging towards secret with any kind of volume. So tough for him to find more than just a few frags. Look at this position for Stown. If you come back from the garage, he's swinging inside of the smoke and he still wins the fight. Oh, he had some unfortunate moments earlier, Stown. Out there, he got caught a couple of times, but... That is, a, seems like an unlikely victory for, for him. What a timely smoke from Krimbo as well. Heroic was frothing at the mouth to get into the ramp room. They were ready to hit it. Smoke is going to stall him out. One minute and seven seconds to work with for Heroic, and it looks like they want to readjust to the outside yard. They've got five smokes still. Four smokes. they got plenty to set up any kind of wall they want, but they're going at Searson's AWP. Yeah, not necessarily a wise move. Stown gonna feel the wrath of Searson outside first. He repeats it. He sees a couple of more people jumping down for sure. 45 seconds, and they actually they don't really want to play around with that. Like, you know what? That's a bad move. It's a lot of time being chewed off the clock. This is this that kind of a play just to lose one player and fall away is eating 40 seconds off of the clock. Karimbo in advanced position. Cuts down two. There goes Tessas, and Kadian has got to push forward. He trades off the kill, but again, time is an enemy as well. Nice confidence on Krimbo to take those fights. You could tell, oh, but Sisson's going to get caught. That's awkward. Two on three into a two on two, and the fight almost won by Shush. The bomb, though, is now lost with 10 seconds here, more or less. 14, maybe. I don't think this could be won by KD, and he just doesn't have the time to play this slow. Farman takes him down, and it is a nice end for Beak. They did all the work here in the first half, and maybe even enough for the second half. <laughs> He's right, though. He's six rounds after losing the second round. Is you got to be quite happy with that one on T side. Heroic found a way to make it work right at the end. A decent stretch of rounds. Some missed opportunities for Big where it felt like they had control and it still slipped away. A lot of pressure towards ramp room. Defense is going to drop back. Two players rotate down low to defend against it. Now utility towards the upper bomb site is a little bit of a fake, but ramp room is still the target. Nice player from Searson jumping up to make sure nobody is boosted up into that corner. Also holding secret at the same time, but it's Tessa's to start of the second round or the second half here with a nice shot. Jabby to follow it up. Kadian finally goes down, but it's still a four versus three. And the Krimbo looking for a target out here. A little bit scary when you're out in the open. He sees Towers maybe lucky to be alive, and he's going to try and make it in through secret, but it's called out. They know what's coming, and they still can't shut him down. Krimbo, nice shot, and could have had a chance at Shush with the duelies. It's a two-on-two, two, and the bomb has been planted now. Tess is looking for it, and he finds this, and from below, headshot pretty much straight through his own feet, and now Favon, one versus two. That bomb is still got a lot of time left. Oh, on top of Tess's! He could find him. That looked horrifying. That looked like he had no control over that fight, Tess's, at all. No, he was still dropping down when, when they found the position. That was very close to a victory. Again, just such narrow margins on some of these rounds. Good shooting from Big to get themselves into the upper bomb site. This one, if Searson could have found a way to just stay alive, they might have sealed the round. That would have made it so much more difficult. But yeah, awkwardly shooting on the pallet he drops on to. 9-7. Heroic closing the gap. Oh,
And now they're on the CT side. Now it gets easier. And a cr I mean, there's so much more of a reason why this is such a critical win here in the second half because nine to six is still a pretty good lead for big, but that could evaporate right in front of us here. That could be gone really quickly. It might be gone already. Deagle's picked up for big. They're going to go for a buy in the next round with AK-47s due to the plant and the pistol. Looking for damage at the moment. Kadian's got an op already. Just going to say that's a really quick AWP. Keep it in range of other players so that you can save it. Don't get lost somewhere really deep on the map. Even if the enemy team can't pick it up, just no reason to throw away that much money. Deagle spam through the walls. Does that work? Uh, yeah, I think it does. But, um, it's just so rare nowadays. Well, they have the information at the very least that the Kadian off is, is on the board. They know where Stown is. They put a stop to him. Good headshot. Kadian's going to step up to the plate, shifting oh. over. There goes the off. Okay, now this gets spicy. Another one from Searson. Handles the aim punch so well. And oh no, Heroic on the verge of losing another second round. That did not seem like a fight that was worth taking at all from Kadian's point of view. He, he kind of knew they were there, but he just felt like he had to swing for it. And if, I, if, if you're heroic too at this point, like, how do you know what bomb site that is the priority to protect? How do you know where to shift? We almost just have to hope that you, I mean, especially maybe the forward player here in Tess is that he could find someone and, and interrupt whatever is going on because otherwise, if you're in the wrong position, it's going to be all over all MP9. That's a great place to find yourself. 15 seconds now on the clock, so eventually Big gonna have to make a move. This might be a little bit of trouble for them. They're down below with the bomb, though, so at least they turned it into a one versus two. Farman is going to be there immediately with the bomb plant, but they are right on top of him, already catching him out in the open. It's a nice recovery from Heroic in a round that they could have just as well lost. Yeah, and they get the AWP as well. They made sure to grab that one. Searson had brought it. I've heard about that. When they bury the materials yeah. like way out in no man's land. They have to assume that people don't speak the same language almost, so they have to try and figure out what what would look dangerous to a to a civilization that doesn't know any of our stuff. Yeah. Kind of cool and scary at the same time. Fun fact of the day. Yeah. Nine to eight. Tabson kind of stuck at the 17 kills here for just a minute in the second half, but they have rifles back uh, on the side of big. AKs, no AWP for Searson. They can take this round after the three kills they got in the previous. That would be magnificent for Big. Give them some something early to celebrate about. Smoke down from Tabson off Red Box. Another smoke coming in, and a third to complete the wall. One of the many different walls that can be put out there. Quite a few uh, different versions of it, all with slightly different outcomes. Sisson, not happy about that. Looking at his teammate, like, can I? Can we get up here and throw these flashes through the windows? Well, Heroic's not nervous at all about the wall that was set up outside. They have no one even, even glancing for any progression in the yard. They are unconcerned about any presence there. All focused towards the upper bomb site for the moment. All it's all down. Gabby's gonna have to find a new home. And he will take uh, Faven down before he gets it. So that's a nice way to get a little bit of an escape. Otherwise, you get stuck up there. Nice shot onto Tabson on top of everything else. And this seemed like it was no problem. Maybe partly because of what you said. They they didn't even really move to defend the yard at all. Yeah, no strength in that hit. Even Tess's was pushed up in ramp room to be able to pounce with the SMG as soon as the execute comes in. So we're all tied up at nine, and that's a free AK-47 upgrade. And that's four players surviving in a round that Hero came into with a real shaky economy. So that starts to make him feel a tiny bit more comfortable. I feel like... Those flashes that you want to look away from, right? Yeah. And when they don't work, it's you're, you are running in from very narrow choke points and you can get shut down. So it's kind of critical that uh, that they do work. Nade is going to be way too late, but they'll hear it. Stown is going to be calling it in saying, yep, they're running down below. And with... Oh, what a find. I was going to say with the push on ramp, they're going to be catching Tessus. This is an absolute nightmare for Heroic. Kadian fighting for his life. And the double kill might bring them back into the round just a bit. But this is still oh, no. a surprising opening. The bomb dropped on the railing. So now they have to stop and they have to look back. And good recovery from Krimbo. I didn't know if he was going to have the op out in hand. Absent looking for one. Alert coming in. Stown has seen it. 
dink onto Stown, and I think he's likely going to want to just back away with 10 health. No reason to go for this. So lost round. Heroic's going to have to rebuy in big. They let him get close. They let him tie things up, but they extend the lead to one just again. That is such a surprising loss for, uh, for Heroic here. Oh, they're going to find Stown as well. Never mind that the go, but it's harder to kind of pull off in the same way since you can hear everything across the map that you can't quickly yeah. get between the two bomb sites. It causes a little bit of con like a, of a distraction on one side of the map, forces ramp to you know run around and they get caught. And so one of the it's one of the factors that made some of the, the like the all-time great nuke teams was their ability to kind of manage that yeah. you know. It's not an easy thing to solve. I I even feel like sometimes you even have to think. Depending on who on your team, if you're on the CT side, if you lose a player early on, you're playing a four and five, you almost have to go through like the steps of saying, wait, so where where are we not defending anymore? We lost someone in, you know, lower, so where are they going? Oh, this is a little bit of a crossfire though. Tess's nice headshot to bring down Taps and again, Heroic are on the verge of eco and they have all no grenades in this round. They just have the M4s and the single 570. If they get away with another round like this, where they actually get to save the economy and start to fight again, Big are going to be heartbroken. Yeah, Big really need to need reset at some point, and this is a perfect opportunity for it. Perfect fight taken down low with that crossfire. Big would have loved to have had the Molotov on the initial peak and not after the fact. Tassis has a big job to do. Plenty of teammates in the upper bomb site needs to be aware of heaven, needs to be able to have a staunch defense here. Oh, they're going to boost up on the other side, though. <laughs> it's gonna give him a heart attack, surely. Oh, he has no idea, but he's still lightning fast. That's a nice shot. Crimbo down below, though, through the grid, and will take him down. So three versus four, but the problem is the time. 20 seconds on the clock, and they need to find a bomb site right now. Cadian, are they gonna be able to surprise him here? Searson's up close, but he doesn't see it. The scope just blinding him to Cadian's position, and I think they can't win the round now. 10 seconds, they have to try and back out and save the guns if they can. A little bit more expensive as they take down Shusha, that's interesting, but heroic, they get away with another one. Yeah, they keep just sustaining, hanging on by their fingertips. Counter-terrorists win. 10 to 10. Plenty of money. Still not a great economy on the heroic side. I mean, it is, it is all the time close. So big, get another shot at it here. If they win this one, they're still in a good position. A nice run. Tamson's got the confidence back. He's up to 21 kills. And Stown, no more to say in the round. They've been very comfortable moving across yard fast early in the round. Just hustling over towards secret. Now let's see how they manage again. Yabby in the same position that Tessis was previously. The Molotov's deeper this time, which forces him off that angle. Shush spots numbers outside. Two players down low, Kadian and Yabby. They got Tessis up in heaven too, so... I don't know what it would take for the CT side to get back into this round. Maybe what Shush is doing is, is part of the puzzle here. If you find a kill, turn it into a four on three. Maybe something could be done. I'm gonna find Keto at the very least. It's a start, but they need more. Well, with this position now, a bomb site is open. Oh. Shush is going to get another one. This is slipping away yet again. Big just now getting the bomb plant in. Karimbo's up in the rafters. They might still have it, though. Because... Yeah, this is going to be a real hard retake, especially because Kaden and Yabby are lining up to come up vents. If they would have been closer somehow, then all of this work for Shush would have been so much more impressive, but they're just so far away. And the fact that they got the kills now, it could be one of those scenarios where they almost get baited into trying the retake and then losing everything. Missed shot from Searson, but the time is just, it's already so low on that bomb. They're going to get the kill on Searson, and now they're running for it. Krimbo, he'll take down one of them, and he's up on the rafters looking for it. Kadian with a shot, Favin still alive, and all he has to do is leave. Another three seconds, and they will win the round anyway. Nice shot on the shush, and it will be big to take the round. Yeah, but it feels like, I feel like the listening part is better. I'm seeing a Nova shotgun on shush. You have to respect that. It's full buy in the round for Heroic. Somewhat of a desperate scenario. Ew, it's green, though. What's up with that? <laughs> you don't like green shotguns? No, obviously not. Gideon forward position here. I feel like Heroic surely can't have any more fortune left in them. Oh, Gideon, is he going to spot it? That's a lot of noise being made. Surely Tamsin hears that. Scary stuff to fall down, and he's going to get caught falling back in. Must be wondering. Damn, he was there the whole time. Tess's caught rotating back. The Molotov forced him into it, so... Heroic, trying to push into the round here and trying to shock big by having a little bit more weaponry than maybe they were expecting, but it's not working out at all. 
What a great route from Tapson. He's thrown a couple different looks at him. Yeah, Caden watching that back is going to be so frustrating that Tapson just stayed out of his vision the whole time. Tapson does eventually go down. That's an AK-47 recovered, and Heroic won't want to risk that for any kind of attempted retake. Back off and be happy with the one weapon. So 12 to 10, two-round lead now for Big. But that was all the money. They really, they really invested into this round, Heroic. So even if it's just two rounds, very likely to be a third. Still, M4, AK-47, shotgun into the next round. Don't have to buy anything. Don't have to... You can re-up... Actually, you probably shouldn't even touch any extra utility with the kind of money they're looking at at the moment. But at least you've got some weapons to work with. Don't throw away the shotgun. Whatever you do, don't... Never do that. What do you think the name of that skin is? Yeah, I did it. Sour apple? It could be. The worst candy flavor. 12-10. Back into the action. They do fully invest around those three rifles, Heroic. They buy up on Tess's and Cadian. This is, uh, look, if Heroic loses this round, go on, goes on to lose the match, I think you could really have a deep, long conversation around the decision to fully invest here. Yeah, dip, dip. Kind of pushing the limits of what's uh, doable at the moment. But if it works out and if they get back into the game, it's a different question altogether. He's now is, very nearly caught off guard. How has Tapson been able to catch so many people off guard and by surprise outside? He's been doing these kinds of plays this whole half and still Heroic have not caught on to it and not gotten, uh, not gotten really aware of it. Yeah, and it's interesting because I guess also on, on top of everything else, I mean, they know that they're, they're not going to run into the AWP out there. So he's feeling super confident in doing it. Um, but you still would have thought that maybe on the Heroic side that they start to realize, wait a minute, we have to be aware of that corner. Stolen AK, M4, FAMAS, couple of deagles. Yeah, but information is gained by Heroic. They have control of lobby. They know everyone's outside. Problem is, Tapson's already beat them to the lower bomb site to a certain extent. Although you'd have to wonder how aggressive Tapson is going to be down here. In terms of getting information, the only player... Opening the door could be real dangerous, and that's just so unfortunate. Stown was already in position. Tapson probably wanted to create more of a distraction by putting up a smoke and sort of pretending to be out there. They're in a lot of trouble here, Big, whether they know it or not. Cadian showing up, but oh, that's actually surprising that he got the kill. I thought maybe he would have just been knocked out. They should know Stown is still down here. He had the kill earlier, so they have that information. At least there's still at least one defender at the lower bomb site. 15 seconds. I, I don't... Is Big saving? Yeah, they must be. Which, what a weird round. Didn't seem like at any point, I mean, not not that much happened for Heroic to take this one. Well, for Tapson to kind of go down to secret alone and control alone and then have everyone follow up with him after he dies, you know, 20 seconds later, that just feels like, and, and also the other side of it too, you're kind of letting Heroic off the economic noose in the team they steal it from. Yeah, exactly, yeah. you know, makes sense. 12 to 11, 24th round. Still, Tamsin is playing a great game. 22 kills on him. No more on the other side. Katie up at 20. So, the captain's kind of battling it out a little bit on either side. I don't know who's going to win this one right now. It could go either way. The money for Heroic is still not great. Still need to keep fighting their way back into it. But then again, it's not really great on the big side either. Stown with only the one kill, but a lot of damage on the farm. And could have been enough maybe for a double almost keto. Going to be shot by the double push into lobby. They did it last round and they're back at it again. Yeah, Heroic has that feel now. They're like, all right, we'll keep taking over lobby from the CT side. Look what options you have now. I don't know how big finds an escape out of this round. You really need... We need to find at least one Heroic player looking the wrong way here. Under a minute, so they have a little bit of time to work with, but... Man... Right now, they're frozen in time, waiting for it. Yeah, they're disjointed. Favin's in a position where he could make a play, but he took that dink earlier, so it's kind of like Searson has to be the one to make a play. Krimbo is a bit nervous when you realize they've already taken over Lobby. Like, what a risk to come down. This this round is just going to kind of drift away. Yeah, it feels like it. That minute is down to 30 seconds now. Yabby trying to play it very, very carefully, not showing himself too much, and that's what they should do, right? Play for time, slow this down as much as you possibly can, because Big eventually 
The clock will defeat them in the end. 18 seconds now. They're bringing the bomb down towards the lower part of the map. They gotta run. I don't know why they're walking. They got they got smokes they gotta put up in this window. There's the first one. Kadian neutralized for the moment over towards the double door. Seven seconds now on the clock. They've got a plant inside of it. They get the kill. The necessary kill and the bomb goes down. Oh, a chance. A prayer for big. They're bringing it back. 1v2 for Searson. Yeah, yes, they hit the shot. He can't miss a single one. Smoke us up in front. That might make it even worse but they haven't really found him yet. He still has a shot at it here. He can play Ring Around the Rosie if they come for him. Sears, just a leg, but he wants the second player too. Oh, this is high risk and possibly high reward as well. They have no idea. How did he get back into this position? They do not have a kit currently picked up, so it's going to be a real long defuse at the moment. And Searson, how is he just hidden back here? He takes down Javi. Oh, this is a wild play. And now the flash is out. He misses the shot, but he no might kit. have done enough. They can't get it. He has to escape. What a play from Searson. Waiting around without even firing the gun. Oh, that's unbelievable. The big, the, the heroic smoke is what gives him the space to make that play. I cannot believe they found a way back into that round. This is so I cannot sneaky. believe it. Unbelievable. He gets the kill, but that's not even necessary. Even if he missed that shot, he probably could have still lived. Well, think of it this way, too. Like, even, even the movement that he has to hide behind that box in the corner, the time it takes Heroic to clear out everything against the wall in terms of their finances. And they cannot afford to get reset in these final few rounds. That would be the red carpet for big. Searson's going to get aggressive, misses the opportunity. Molotov down. He burns about half HP, but going to extinguish the flames and survive. Grenade to follow him. He's almost dead, so... And Big no longer wants to deal with CT side taking over Lobby. they put way more bodies here. It's not just Keto any longer. They've got four people here to hold down the fort. And actually, interesting enough for Heroic, a huge gamble towards the upper bombsite. They might have been thinking that, hey, we just called the timeout. Big might just call a pop at the upper bombsite. Let me go for the ramp room. Hadian is here, but there's an orc train at the corner. Nicely done from Searson. His teammates taking it over. Kadian going to be frustrated than that one, and Honestly, Heroic, they Absence might... dead. Yeah, he, it might be, but they might still have to worry... Oh, they're going to go back. I was going to say, if that doesn't happen, uh, it's almost close to Heroic just should be saving because four on five with a bomb down, that's not a winnable round. It all comes down to this fight in, in the lower bombs. Now, they have three people here, so they're at least going to battle for it. It's just, it, can they actually have any success? Deagle over towards window, M4 as well. Oh, good tags. Good tags. Chacking Krimbo and tagging Keto as well. I don't know how Tessus has been so effective through the smoke with the Deagle, but Big is in a lot of trouble. Oh, <laughs> back from Shush. The FAMAS doing so much damage. There's no wall there at all. So so, Krimbo out of it. What a weird path here for Big to get into the bomb site. Shush comes charging through an heroic. They're not giving up without a fight either. USP from Shush to bring him down. And Searson again finding himself this time in a one versus three. Shush going to be the hero of the round. And heroic. This is going to get everyone fired up. Oh, they still found a way to lose lobby. They still find a way to allow heroic to take over lobby. For me, has just been. has lacked something. Oh. See ya. Tapson had, what, 17 kills at the end of the first half, 18 kills at the end of the first half. He's at 22 now, 21 now, so he's slowed down quite a bit. Gravity did the work this time. Yeah. It's taken better men than me. And yeah, you studied physics, so you know all about that. <laughs> I flunked out of physics, Jason. Well, so Not because at least you got the gravity, right? We cut. <laughs> that seems we to be talk about it. the foundational <laughs> physics thing that you learned first. I told, I came in there, I told them, I want to try and see if I can stop gravity. And they said, and as you have to leave this department. Failed. We need to immediately. Need, need to get, a, get out. Grimbo and Farvin. They picked up an M4 at the very least. They've done a, a little bit of economic damage where we can take it down Tessus. They don't have any money still on the Danish side. So, I mean, in that, in light of that, Big should be feeling like, oh, we're really just all the time one round away from making this work. A little bit more damage in this round would be great. Four, four surviving on the heroic side is a little bit too much. Get another kill in there. There's one on Stout. Oh, Robin, this is beautiful. And a bomb plant on top. This is great. Crimbo. No, he's surely not. So far, no, it's very unlikely. And he's out in the open. Shush has been accurate in this series as well. But that's amazing. Three kills and a bomb plant. The heroic economy is still absolutely wrecked. Yeah, but Big's never been able to get that one win that, that seals it, that buries them. I have another chance at it here. Yeah, that's uh, I don't know if if they make it back here, Roy. It's gonna. It must be such a relief knowing that you played 
Is this like the fourth round in a row now where they just keep they're all the time on the verge they've had three crazy force ups so far in this game yeah they've they've really had to struggle and labor to stay into this game so in one sense give some props over to them but this isn't going to be like any kind of great feel-good win for heroic it's just like whew, that was a difficult one tied up 27th round Big with the bomb plant, able to still put a bind together and maybe importantly, Sears in on that AWP. He's been doing an all right job, but nowhere near the heights of what we know Sears can do. So if that's something that they have in store for us here in the last couple of rounds, that could absolutely change the outcome. Oh, here's that timing hit. Uh, Heroics expected this at times. Look at all the utility. Look how blind Shush is. Kadian is going to hold him off, and Faven burns due to the damage from Shush. And again, the strength of this hit is just taken away out of Big. I can't believe Shush lived. I feel like he was flashed for 10 seconds. I was sh sure he was going to sh get shot in the back, but... No, Heroic was ready for that, though. We saw them do a gamble stack with four players previously. They've been looking for Big to make this kind of a play, and this round, uh, Kadian was even up in heaven behind his teammate, waiting for the utility usage, waiting for the flashbangs to just peek behind it. Good kill. That might actually open up an option for Tapson down low already. Kadian versus Searson. Last time it went the way of Searson, but this time... No connection on either side. And yeah, that forward, I don't think at all Shush is ready for Krimbo to be in there. He was kind of jiggle peeking the first corner, but didn't expect for anyone to be pushed out that far. 40 seconds. Tabson would love a fight down here. If he blows out the window, though, at least we'll let Tessus know that something's happening. But he gets sandwiched in here. Nice shot onto Krimbo. Orb is coming up next. They know that Searson has it somewhere in this lobby area because it's already had a little bit of a fight with Tabson down the bomb site. Yeah, he does. He's behind him. Ooh, Tessus, he's boxed in, but still a two on four. 20 seconds left. He's going to try and plant the bomb, but we'll come off of it, and Searson's going to be found. It's unfortunate. Big are trying their best to... Obviously, and you're already trying to clear top hut. You're trying to clear rafters, all the different angles in the upper bomb site, and the free kill was right in front of you the whole time. 13-14, and it's big that run out of money. What a heartbreaking game this is going to be either way. Hadian out here with the AWP. The smoke wall is making it difficult to find anyone, but they don't have almost anything to work with here. Now, they've had some shocking rounds in the past, Big, with just the pistols, but how do you get this one? All five of them down below. The one the one benefit they got at the moment is that it's just, uh, it's just Tessa's down here. Shush can arrive pretty quickly off contact or off any kind of a sound cue. But if they can eliminate Tessas with any kind of speed, maybe you can swarm in. Yeah, it's actually, it is doable. Shush might be too far away to really get there in time, even though he's at the ramp. Man, they need an early kill on him. There's the opening door. That's the giveaway. Good double for Tessas. That slows it down and gives a little bit of time. Shush showing up at the same exact moment and farming on his own. No bomb plant going to be allowed this time. Looked like it could have been dangerous, but it'll be 15 on the side of Heroic. And stressful. Quite the battle. Best of one game, but we're getting everything we want here. Tess is up at 22 kill right behind Kadian at 23, so they've got a bit of a duo going on there. And what do Big have for us in this round? Tabs in this out by that same box that he's been finding a lot of openings by earlier. This time, smoke, and he's going to run straight for it. So he's got a pretty forward position early on. That's not bad. Kadian almost eclipsing one of them there. But he finds two and puts the bullet right in between them. Farmer with a nice kill on that Galil. Something to work with for Big. They've got lobby control. They have a five on four. They have yard control as well. Shush missed the initial. Salvo finds a double kill. Brings it right back. Dinked. And now Stown down the vents. He can wait patiently for his time to pounce. Yeah, if Krimbo gets this kill, it's possible that Stown's going to be there with a really fast flank. So they could be in a little bit of trouble here. 50 seconds on the clock. Shush is very low. And Krim... Oh, the timing is disgusting. He's going to get that one, but surely traded immediately. And that's the bomb down on the ground now. A lot of trouble here. Two versus three. And big, like you said, they had many, many, many chances to put Heroic out of this match and win it right away, but they kept hanging in there with the economy, and now it's big trying to hang on to the game. Tessa's nearly escaping there. 
bomb being stopped by the Molotov. He's going to have to go pick it up. 20 seconds. They need this. Searson trying to get his hands on it. They're going to go and get the challenge. He takes one, but there's a return. And this might not be winnable. 12 seconds on the clock, and I don't think Keto could do anything about it. The bomb is behind safe. him. Yeah. Oh, no. This is absolutely heartbreaking. What a way to lose it at the end. Heroic. Don't die. We'll find 16 at the end. Nothing. To